This is Brian Watson from Desktop EDA. This video demonstrates how the Inventor IDF modeler will help you improve the integration of electronics into your product assemblies. This is an Inventor certified product. I will demonstrate how to import IDF data to create an assembly. I'll add this assembly to a product assembly to check for errors. I'll make changes then use export IDF to create IDF data to send the changes back to a PCB CAD system. When installed, the IDF modeler tab is added to the ribbon. Tabs are also added to part and assembly. We're going to start with IDF import. You choose the Import IDF button. You then browse to the IDF board file. The program checks the integrity of the IDF data and reports any issues. Once the dialog displays, you can change any settings as required. To create the PCB assembly, press the Create Assembly button. The board outline part is created placed into the assembly, then the electronic component parts are placed. Now let's have a look at the PCB assembly. You can see that the first part in the assembly is the board outline part followed by parts for all the components on the PCB that can be placed on the top and bottom. Typically you would then place the PCB assembly into your product assembly and use features built into Inventor to check the assembly for fit. We notice one issue. The audio connector interferes with the opening in the case. We can move the part in Inventor such that it lines up with the opening. We need to edit the PCB assembly, unground the connector, then move it so it clears the interference. Once the part is clear, we need to communicate this change back to the PCB designer. We invoke the export IDF command. This displays the IDF export dialog. Choose the export assembly button 
and new IDF data is created that can be read back into the PCB CAD tool to update the PCB layout. In the PCB layout tool, you read in the IDF data and apply the changes to the PCB design. If you would like to receive the 15-day trial for the Inventor IDF Modeler, please visit our website. Thank you.